fortunately or unfortunately. Um, Lux Samira. Lux Shen Samira. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Huh, oh, okay. Okay. The Kaisa Nautilus is pretty, pretty standard. Unless if it ends up being Sivir. I think it's going to end up being Kaisa Nautilus. I think Kaisa Nautilus does a little bit better than Sivir Nautilus. Unless if they decide to go with... Hmm. Kaylin is a pretty strong pick. Kind of hard to say what the picks and bands are, though, because I think they're just picking what's comfortable, comfortable to them. But, um, uh, I think blue sides, blue sides team comp looks. Oh, these two look like pretty, pretty interesting team comps actually, to fight into. Samira, obviously new, is pretty. Is a little bit of a wild card for as to what she'll do. Um, relative to, let's see, Ash. So the Ash Nautilus pick. That's pretty. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good combo. In addition to the. Oh, thank God! All right, we have three minutes to talk about. It. I was gonna say this is a pretty <laughs> quick, pretty quick draft. Um. I think this is probably going to be a pretty difficult draft for a red team. I think uh, they sort of, they have like a nice front line and they have like a pretty nice team fight comp. Um, but the thing is, is that a lot of the champions on red side are fairly kiteable to blue sides comp. Um, obviously like you have like the Ash, and you have the Lilia, who are mostly known for poking, kiting around. Oriana being both like a utility pick to speed and uh, maneuver around a team fight rather conveniently. Um, or ultimate, obviously, pretty pretty game changing. And it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like they'll have much trouble playing like one three one or something to that degree. Or one four, uh, if they choose to do that. Um, Shen Shen set can make some early ganks onto Yorick, and hopefully, potentially, if they end up making things work, like Yorick split pushing won't be a problem. Shen, I think, historically doesn't do like the absolute greatest in side lane, but if you get ahead of a Yorick, I think Yorick ends up being pretty weak. Um, that plus the Galio to uh, kind of, I guess, kind of shadow the Samira or the set or, you know, the Shen, whatever they'd like to do, I think is a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good look for red team. The Samira Lux is pretty new. I haven't particularly seen much of what that combo can do, but it's obviously big damage. Nautilus, not necessarily the tankiest support in my opinion, but certainly can kill Samira and or Lux on on hook. Uh hmm. the Ash might may actually have quite a difficult time if Oriana isn't constantly peeling alongside Nautilus. But I think depending on how well PCS triumphs uh Shen flanks are, we should probably do or there should probably be a level of difficulty for Ash to play this game. Uh, but obviously that depends more on the TPs and the flanks. Shen Galio does usually tend to be a more uh, brutal dive engage comp, and Ash obviously being a mobile will probably get punished for it. But we have two seconds until we get into game. Exciting, exciting, isn't it, Will? Pretty, pretty exciting. Yeah. The uh, I hope they uh, pull this one out. Honestly. We gotta, we gotta be unbiased, though, Will. Yeah. We, can, we have to be, we have to be, as fair and lenient as possible. Fair and lenient. I 
Okay, so. Hmm. Interesting. So there is a. We have the exhaust actually for the Oriana mid, which is quite interesting actually. Uh, I wonder who she's taking it for. I guess it's for Samira. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The, I guess like both the heel like knight bot lane is indicative of pretty pretty aggressive leaning bot lanes that they want to play into. Um, the Galio with ignite is pretty interesting as well. Um, historically, Galio doesn't really have that much kill pressure on Oriana, but maybe if uh. PCS Benny, you know, the set ends up coming in mid, has like a flank, maybe they can make something work. Um, other than that, things are pretty fairly standard. Grasp for Shen, Conqueror on Yorick. Nautilus with Aftershock, Lux with Guardian, all very good, very standard. Um, I suppose it will come down to, really will come down to the map coordination of both teams to really see uh in the macro place to really see we'll come out on this one i think they both have pretty they have fairly they have fairly straightforward and directed game plans here like with the exception of perhaps like the samira but i guess that kind of slots into the team fight comp um like in this case yorick and yorick can just be like trailed by like lilia who can like you know engage on whoever Yorick ends up fighting from like a mile away? Ash sure. follow up with like Ash LT um, to continue the fight, so on and so forth. Um, but that being said, even if they do end up like looking for a pick, it's it's always on the Galio and the Shen to ultimate TP in uh, to kind of counter that engage. So it'll be really interesting to see which side of the map. Uh, both these junglers end up playing toward. I would assume that with the Yorick pick needing to kind of get ahead, Lilia will play towards top side. Um, who knows? Guess we will, guess we will just see as soon as this game starts loading. As soon as it starts loading. Um, I think the the other point of contention here will probably be uh, figuring out how well the Samira and Lux do into Ash and Nautilus. Um, Ash, granted, or despite having a pretty significantly important uh, ultimate throughout all stages of the game, do sort of still need to focus on uh. Or even though they like they can be put behind, and I guess we're still in spectator delay. Even though they can be put behind, they do tend to have a a wealth of utility, even if they do end up being behind. Uh, oh, okay, that's odd. But anyways, uh, okay, so let's take a look at the the item builds. Fairly standard across the board. Doran's ring for Galio. I think maybe a little bit odd, but I think between that and corrupting pot, it's about the same. Corrupting pot from uh, Oriana. So. Um, well, a little bit of chatter. Yeah, <laughs> it was blind pick. I'm not sure if they. Uh, Hmm, interesting. Oh, apologies. One second. I don't know what the heck just happened. Austin, you can... Uh... Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, Looks like... Looks like their top laner appears to be missing and not playing the game right now. Um. There you go. Oh, he reconnected. <laughs> 
That no. that is interesting. Don't know if a competitive game is supposed to continue without their junk. Okay, well. Um. Anyways, so or without their top lane or rather, but uh, pretty pretty standard stuff. Galio trying to make do. The early leash from the top laner, I guess, doesn't make it that big of a deal then. Um, but Shen doesn't get punished for leashing. Uh, Oriana pushed under turret pretty early, actually, by Galio. I don't know why it's like half showing. <laughs> it's trying to show his bot lane, but keeps panning <laughs> over. Uh, okay, Galio with two, but not making use. Okay. Oriana does seem to be trying to fight in the wave, though. That does not sound very good. Okay, bot lane. Uh, pretty standard, too. Uh, Samira with level 2, though. Not quite abusing their level 2. I guess they're just going to play to go even, which is fine, of course. But, um, let's see. Yorick not really missing a beat, too. Which is fine. Oh, oh, Galio oh. with a an early okay, engage okay. though. Oh, Ooh. Oriana is super chunked. He didn't set off the ignite. Might have true. might have looked there. Mm -hmm. Maybe waiting to set up for a second. Possibly. A second, uh... Oh, but Shen, oh. Shen with early okay, damage okay. too. Oh, oh wow, oh. Oh, okay, wow. Oriana really chugging through the potions now. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Samira with a little bit of a... Samira in a, a little bit of a an awkward position with their wave, but otherwise pretty okay. Yorick is really struggling with farm. I'd imagine perhaps because he didn't buy items, he may be struggling. <laughs> yep. That would do it. Yep. Um, that Those are some interesting purchase. Oh! Oh! oh can't walk that? in front of, Can't walk behind the minions there. Ooh. He's He's like, first uh, packs and the corrupting boots. Yep. Samira fighting into that minion wave could have been really dangerous, but I guess yeah. they were just not expecting the play. Oh wow! A super, a super good hook. Wow, just right between the minions, and forcing, forcing Colonel to, to use his potion. Oh, Colonel with no flash now. Yeah, Colonel yeah, no flash, flash out of that one. Let's see if they can. I guess it, it depends on whether or not they can continue to. Stay in lane. I think they may be forced out of lane soon. But they do have the level up now. Oh. Yorick out of mana during this fight. Shed and Daunting into a full wave of minions. <laughs> Still coming out ahead. Look at those little goblins. Little <laughs> go those little <laughs> ghosts. Put in work. They are putting in work. They made the trade. More favorable for York. By oh, oh, but Galio back in. Galio really, really taking this matchup on with, with really. All right, there. He's really just punishing the the hell out of this Oriana, despite having a little bit of a deficit. He does seem to need to have to go back soon. Oriana with almost components of a tier already. He's taking a uh, Rift Herald, not Rift Herald Scuttle. Mm, okay. I know. Uh oh. Oh, but the engage from Galio. Okay. The flash. Oh, taunt? Samira with the. Okay, Samira, okay. Samira in. Oh, Samira, Samira fully stacked passive too. Oh, and the ignite. Oh, and a, a very <laughs> odd, <laughs> odd double kill from from nowhere, I suppose. Oh, he... oh, but oh, but the four man ulti from Moriana. Holy moly. Oh my. God. Oh, and wow. the four man oh, afterwards. Nice. Wow. That was very unfortunate for Red Team. Wow. That is a really great play from Ori uh, a really great play from Oriana after a 
a random random play from red team to just i guess get ahead off of nothing i guess they just wanted to fight over nothing i suppose but uh ash did have time to push the wave almost into turret i think um the wave is not really looking too hot for 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 blue team here though because it's going to crash right in front of his turret and it's not going to miss any minions, which is fine. Yorick is still a little bit behind, but I'd say not actually the worst, all things considered. You know, literally not having items and also AFK at the beginning. Um, yeah. Uh, Oriana and Galio both taking the kills from the early skirmish, though. Uh, oh, but Yorick with now... An aggressive use of his ulti. Um, hmm. Samira, Samira is about even here, able to farm it out a little bit, but not ideal with the Caulfields instead of the BF sword. Uh, I don't really play Yorick, so I don't actually know if you're just supposed to spam your ulti as soon as you, as soon as it comes up. But that the maiden does seem to be. Doing some work here. Uh, Shen with the, the level lead, though, despite this. Uh, oh, oh, but Set, Set coming in for the... Set coming in for the gank. Shen narrowly missing the Barely missed dash. The time. Oh. Oh. Well, oh. Galio again, like, hitting basically all of these Ws, I guess. Like, oh. But the shock right off the Moriana. Wow, he really did not take that much damage from it, though. Ooh, oh, I thought that was going to be a go back in. I think he. Yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Oh. Ooh. All right. Narrowly evading the, the hook. Okay. Oriana seems to be accruing quite the. Quite the advantage right now, though. Up over 30 CS, despite Galio's pretty... Galio's pretty, like... What is it? Pretty stellar performance, I'd say, actually, just trading-wise. Essentially, he came oh. out on top every single time. Set well, coming... Unfortunately, he'd be in a good position, because he got the double, but then Oriana's the one that came down and got her own double. That is that is true. So, and I think, kind of uh, even at the lane. Yeah, and I think uh, Oriana was able to catch the wave, too. Yeah. Uh... Right after the the double, Galio looking to make a play, but it seems like Set and Lilia are now both just trying to. Tr Oriana make back place into a map. dark seal. Hmm. Has the has the tear now too, and the the dark seal corrupting pot. Um, Galio almost oh not quite able to afford a a hextech gun blade or a hextech proto belt yet. Uh, Galio with the the taunt though. Oh, and the big oh the big play from Samira. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. So Samira really taking control of this. Uh, or red team really. They can definitely really look forward to Dragon around. now. Yeah, no jungler. Uh, this should be free, relatively free. Yeah. Uh, even if they wanted to go, just go for the the Galio relatively overextended Ash the too. Um. Okay. Okay. Infernal Drake. Infernal Drake taken. Infernal Drake taken by Red Team. Uh, 1k gold lead though for Blue Team off the back of a pretty, pretty solid play of, off of the Oriana as well. Um, I think if Samira. Okay, Samira should be able to afford a BF sword now. Um, top lane actually at a deficit now, which is uh, quite interesting. I guess the yeah the pressure from the ghouls and the early maiden really made an impact or made a dent on uh, Shen's ability to trade. Uh, but oh, oh, and the flash in that from is Galio. Very aggressive. Oh, yeah, that is a very HP aggressive. And he flashes under. Oh, oh, but the oh, but the ulti back Galio here. Oh, but, punished here for sure. Oh, but oh, but Galio. Oh. Galio getting away with his, ult. with his ult. Oh, but they're oh, coming up. They oh, might... oh my god. Wait. 
Oh wait, Vigalio gets away! Oh, it's crazy! Oh, it's it is criminal. They're getting away with murder. I think they oh. might both be dead here. Oh. Yep. Oh. They're both oh. Dead here. Oh, it was so. It really was so close. Mhm. Mm Shen, I think Shen ult was just a little bit too late. I think. Well, just a little bit. I hardly saw the Shen ult's shield. It looked like it wasn't very big. Unless it just got damaged through that quickly. Well, the TP in from Yorick now into getting the Rift Herald, but just the red team again, probably another cannot pretty... stop this. Set looks yeah. like he's gonna try. Oh. If oh, he wanted to stop but... it, he had to take the blast plant. Mm-hmm. That is a very strong Oriana, though. That is a level 9 Oriana to a level 6 set. But it looks like now... Oh, is Galio, Galio killing the Lilia here? Yep. Yeah, Galio fighting the Lilia. Galio sneaks a kill behind their team yeah, on Gal the Lilia. <laughs> Galio, I guess, is able to... Maybe Shin coming in from him. the flank. Oh, oh, but... Ga oh, oh, my. Galio, Galio is so close. They, they can, they can win this fight if Galio they just play it a little... Mm. Oh, oh, but the Oriana coming in. Oh, oh, dodging! Post. Oh my so god! Wait, wish. but... Uh. Oh, but more... Oh man, there are fights everywhere, I suppose. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Uh, oh, these are... A little oh. bit more communication, and I think they would have gotten the Oriana and the... Yeah, the these are yeah, really close fights. Sure. I think are... Red Team definitely could have pulled that one out there. I think so, too. Oriana um, now with the 60, 60 CS lead on Gallia. Yeah. That is with the six oh, stacks on the just... dark seal. Oh, and York with literally two HP. I was gonna say we have to remember HP. she's now got six stacks on dark seal. Yeah, that is true. She has no so mana. Almost so halfway. She stacked takes with the reset. Her too, or with your tier. They were able to get some plates on mid right before it fell. York now two kills on the Shen, and. A slight level advantage, possibly. The flash coming out of the Samira, though, not not ideal, but we will take those, I suppose. Cherry plates down now. Let's see, Yorick almost at Trinity Force. Not quite sure where sh how Shen is doing. He's about. I don't know how much gold he has right now. He is five. He's almost a sunfire. Yeah, I believe so. Red Galio... team's getting a lot of moving together as a group in this bottom yeah. side. Makes it hard for Blue to make plays down here. Mm -hmm. Well, if I were Lilia and or Orion, I would be trying to make a play through topside. It does seem like... Oh, but the two-man ulti! Oh, but Samira Orianna gets out? flashes into an ult. Oh, oh no, but oh, it is just tragic for Red Team. Uh, they just, I guess they didn't see the Oriana, and Set was trying to flank. Uh, no Shen ult was Nash able to come ult out hit either. from spawn. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that is Blue Team backing Oriana able to get another wave mid. Ariana now has a fully stacked Dark Seal. It's interesting that Blue Team backed immediately, considering Dragon is up. And now Red Team might have a chance to make it in time to contest. Going for the. But we also see Set backing while Dragon is up and Blue is hovering. Very vitally here, um, Ash now has her Blade of the Rune King. Um, just leads accruing basically across uh, across every lane at this point. Um, surprisingly, despite uh, being like almost two levels down, the the Galio really still is keeping trades fairly close in mid lane. 
Uh, maybe less so off of that camera deciding not to stay on the same person. Uh, Shen now, though, is keeping a very even trade with with Yorick. Um, it seems so. Red side, fortunately or unfortunately, is forced to, uh, I guess, give this dragon up for actually before they even knew it vision was being cleared but i guess they didn't just they didn't want to fight or they didn't know that the dragon was coming up uh oh but shen shen with the both the flash and the shutdown onto yorick uh very yes. very good very good taunt uh you know not really sure why yorick was that close under turret but uh i guess i guess that's just a trade of gold for shen uh, I can't complain about that. Finishing the Sunfire Cape now, though. Uh, I guess Samira is starting to get a little bit stronger. Oh, but Galio once again, just look at that damn, almost almost two two like just two levels down and still able to get about like thirty to forty percent. Oh, but a trade a trade in bot lane. Oh, but Samira Samira Galio Wombo. Oh, but Nautilus Nautilus with a the stopwatch, but another TP coming in from Yorick, but it's all five bot lane. It's the five man bot it's, lane. It's it's crazy. Oh oh, but the five man shockwave. Uh, oh, it is tragic. Man, those Oriana ults red team is doing. Oh, that, you, that is no attack. that is no good. Uh, Shen teleporting literally an inch away from. Him, but, uh, <laughs> he didn't make the teleport off anyway, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is quite unfortunate, but he was Oriana, us, unfortunately. Oriana really putting this game on a on a kilter. You know, red team really really putting in a lot of effort and a lot of value into these TPs and these team play uh and these group plays, but really just faltering in like the small like micro executions, uh like just as like they're happening. Yeah, despite having been like 7k gold behind on that fight, they are still able to make trades relatively easily. It's just when the Oriana comes in, they they do a lot of stacking. Yeah, I suppose they, they seem to forget that um, I guess like Oriana's ulti exists. Um, Gallo here <laughs> a little bit caught out. Uh, but does seem but he's fine. able to? Yeah, it does seem able to get away safely. Uh oh oh, but the two men oh the two men shockwave oh uh is on the, a very short cooldown at this point. Yeah, it, it is. Oh, but they should but be the, expecting an Oriana ult every fight now. Yes, the Lux a little bit caught out. Um, that wasn't quite the odd flank to be honest with you, but uh. I guess the Oriana is just too big now. Really able to get out of basically what I'd imagine to be a pretty sticky situation. Uh oh and Shen at this point just diving under. Trying to pushing as fast as possible if he's gonna stay top. Yeah. Um set a little bit oh set with an ambitious ulti. Um but gets out alive, I guess. Uh Never mind. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say red team needs to be careful here. They keep trickling in. And oh, oh, but a, oh, uh, but a, an that almost great play be, could have been pretty good. Mm -hmm. A flash, a flash. Unfortunately, Samira was still dead. Stuff. Otherwise, I think they got a pick there. Mm -hmm. Uh, seven, seven kill, seven kill lead from Oriana is a little bit daunting right now. Um, the one thing that they have slash may have such will have is that if she doesn't back she still is not able to use the seven kills worth of gold for their economy uh but now it's lilia going in to fight the otherwise sort of okay well i mean you just keep getting chased down by oriana yeah i think yeah the oriana seems to be doing a little i guess Red nautilus is just gonna to... start fighting shen this isn't what i'm used to seeing but <laughs> uh surely surely the support does not solo the top laner. Um, he might. He well no, 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 no. it's no. not got it. 
That but, that was an ambitious that was an ambitious call. That to, was a I long think, to be frank. I think Nautilus only won that though because he had such a big minion wave. Yeah, there were, there were no get... blue minions right there, and there was a very large red oh. minion wave. But Shen um, still Oriana. paying for it with his life. With I'm the Seraphs either though. Rabadons. Boots. Shen does indeed not have boots. Unfortunate when you're split like side laning. Neither does Lux, actually. It does seem like this would probably be one of the more ideal times to take drag while the yeah, strongest Oriana member is, is top. top. Yeah. So uh, but now a, they've really got to commit or to not dragon. commit. And they, they need to start this or Orion is going to take their tower for free. Uh, Shen being sent back, but they are really just taking free damage at this point. Uh, Red team really needing to commit to a play, which is, I guess is to not i guess yeah, i guess they've decided to, to back off uh, it, gonna, it, it is only third drag Oriana, but... which is a, a good call considering okay. you want to right. remove her magi stacks oh uh very very close very close play here oh oh but the shutdown okay the shut that's pretty big the shutdown, the shutdown goes down to samira, samira. yeah that's 2k gold for the samira probably i'm assuming going to afford a Parts of an IE, if I had to guess. Um, if not, maybe perhaps a zeal. I haven't really seen too much of. We what see Ash and Nautilus built, heading but... down bot lane. They might be able to take that tower. Red team doesn't respond. Um, I think. Well, the the blast cone should give it away, but surely, surely Nautilus does not continue fighting. Oh, so. Okay. All right. Uh, close trade on to the onto the Samira. Uh but the Samira now just with ultimate up. Ash uh, tried to save him and then decides he's a lost cause. Yeah. Shen with the ulti down. Yeah, Shen ulti down, but Samira getting a lot of gold um basically for free. Uh yep, very nice now oh, cut out. Oh but Galio Galio onto the onto the Yorick uh, Yorick now. Wow, these are uh, Samira basically picking up every single bounty in the game. I guess uh, <laughs> uh, basically uh, an eighty carry is like a wet dream, essentially. I think they're uh, looking for Oriana again here. Red team oh, is really oh, starting but, to close the gold too. gap. Well, it it still is ten thousand gold, but I will tell you, ten thousand of that sure gold. Oh, was, oh was and oh, and as mm. and as close as as good as yeah. it was, it. It, it didn't is. last very long. It did not. Yeah, the Samira really needed to spend the gold before taking all these yeah. new fights, uh, and people really needed a reset. Um, Oriana, basically just taking over this game, uh, despite dying, despite having her teammates die, uh, is still twelve kills, and I think probably the highest level person in the game. That did return a lot of her stacks. Yeah. We were able to remove. Samira really close to an IE and not really sure if Red Team knows that Baron is being done right now. They don't have very much vision across the map. It's about three wards that I see, red wards. Yeah, They're not we very vital. Uh, blue Team's ward score support is 39 and... Red teams is 18, the same as the jungler, so definitely lacking in wards across the map. Um, uh, Galio now finishing the Banshee's Veil. Uh, oh, but a catch on to Yorick? No, I suppose not. Okay. Uh, Galio 100 CS down, but still not not weak by any means, especially in these team fights when played out properly. Ooh. Uh oh, a lag for a second, but now Galio essentially oh, stuck Galio stuck in New York and unable to he's going move down and just dead. Mm -hmm. Oriana with the ultimate on the top lane. Shorter cooldown. Shen 
really needs to be a little careful about how he handles the Yep. One the more QW lane. and Shen will die if he gets too close to Oriana. Uh, Samira doing her damnness, but that Nautilus is quite tanky. Um, I mean, this is about, I guess, as textbook as it gets. The, the split, although it's a weird split, it's the 2-2-1. Two, two, I haven't really heard of that one before. But uh, I think, yeah, this may just be game for red team. Uh, I really don't oh. think the Lux support was the pick for red team. Yeah, I think I think they had to definitely capitalize a lot better in laning phase if they wanted to make use yeah. of Caitlyn. For sure. Or of and it's Lux, It's definitely rather. hard in blind pick to decide, but going into a Nautilus with Lux and trying to get picks is quite difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh... Now a, a a world mission complete. Thank you, Mr. Riot. <laughs> <laughs> Let us see. Time to join another game. And I will have to step out for oh code incorrect yeah I'm not able to get in either I also cannot do I Yeah, yeah, I'm still saying. I just had to. I just had to get up for a sec, but I wanted to get into the uh, the lobby before we. Uh... It's not working. Oh, it's We're not working. able to get in. Oh. <laughs> what? So we just need to spectate someone. Um. Well, while we have a couple minutes, I guess we could talk about that last game here uh red team with a lot of i'd consider to be very proactive plays actually very impressive and uh indecisive uh when they were trying to especially in the early and mid game uh, but it did seem like towards the end um not even for lack of trying or for lack of creative decision making but rather just simply because of gold um were unable to really close out the game or continue to push their lead or claw back into the game even. Um, but I'm excited to see what happens. The Samira pick was definitely not bad by any means, but I think maybe a lane that would shut down the bot lane more so that they could spiral into getting resources in for mid, the jungler. Mid lane and bot lane were definitely not... Um, were not passive by any means. They definitely did have the means to uh, continue, I guess, pushing their advantages into the enemy jungle rather than sitting there and sitting in their lanes and playing for farm and playing for mid late game. Um, I do think though that the way that if they continue to draft like this, the way that um, Team B PCS will win. Um, We'll definitely come around making more proactive plays uh, to help the the map in general. So the jungler, the top laner, whichever lane it needs be, uh, between the jungler and the mid laner, or so, so rather, sorry, the the support in the mid laner. Um, I think, I think if they choose to do blind again, which I think they will. I think the comps would be fine again, but I'd like to see something like Kate Lux or Ash Lux, like maybe a takeaway. Or even like so a Morgana can... support instead of Lux against yeah, the Nautilus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree.
Right. Okay, let us see if we can spectate. Spectate game. We can talk about their picks if we're able to spectate now, because we haven't seen the draft. Let's see. Are you guys able to spectate? No. Hmm. I think we Let's do see. have to wait three minutes. It'll still show us the champion screen, though, since there's still going to be a delay. Uh, I will be back in a moment, but uh, until then, I think that there's some probably some good discussion about what uh, Will and Ryan, both of you guys being pretty, fairly bot lane oriented. Like, what do you <laughs> think? What would you rather? Uh, what would you prefer to see out of uh, both bot lanes? Like, any thoughts you had towards the uh, red team's bot lane? Obviously, playing the Ash Nautilus to fairly to a fair amount of success, to be honest with you. Um, really only faltering uh, a few times, but otherwise being fairly strong. Um, I didn't really get to see too much bot lane play during the spectating. I did not Mostly either. In the river above it. Obviously, red team could have warded a lot more, but that was more towards the late game. I think the early game wards were fairly good. Whenever they had lane pressure. Mm hmm. I feel like Samira blowing the flash. What was it like? Level three? That was pretty vital. Mm hmm. Into the, the fights that were taking, uh, mm -hmm. that were taken on bot side river. All right. I'm, I'm able to spectate now. Uh, it looks like Connor is too. Yes. Oh. Looks like it's going to oh. be the Morgana Sinna into Malphite Misfortune. I oh. will be back again, but this looks like a very engage heavy comp uh, coming in once again from both sides. Yes. Uh, Malphite support. Um, oh, okay. So it's Misfortune Malphite for the enemy team. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to be I, very aggressive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's on which uh, side? Uh, they swap. PCS is on red side. I still think. I think. Do you know how many games they're playing? I think this is the last one. Yeah, they're on red side again. Interesting. Okay. I thought they were supposed to swap yeah, as well. Yeah, I think that they should swap, but that's fine. Um, yeah. So yeah, and then and have the blue side. Yeah. The uh, the Guardian Morgana coming out again, just like the Guardian Lux, with the Glacial Augment Senna. Going to look to just poke them down, I'm guessing. This uh, is a much more aggressive bot lane than last time with Malphite. Yes. Fortunately for them, they have Morgana instead of Lux. It would be very unfortunate if they <laughs> still had Lux in this lane. It would be... Quite a good one to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the the phase rush coming in from Oriana, pretty basic, I believe. With the exhaust still. Blue team doing a good job of guarding their jungle. Mm-hmm. Red team's kind of stacked. Top kind isn't of... watching. Where is oh yeah. I was about to say, where is the top one? Uh, Halo Blades Vi as well. Good work, good work. <laughs> York decides to go Corrupting Pot again. Mm-hmm. Blue hanging around a really long time. Is the support DC'd? Or... <laughs> huh. Okay, moving around now. Blue, <laughs> blue making it... Or not blue, red making it to lane very late. Very late. They missed a lot of XP there. Very unfortunate in a lane against Malphite, who is going to hit two before them. 
There's going to be a lot of damage onto the Sinna. Yep. Uh, no wasting the sums yet. Both teams make it out Ooh. with their sums. Annie getting chunked in the mid lane. Gotta dodge this Oriana Hughes. For sure. Uh. Both, yeah, both blue side on bot and mid hit their level ups first. Mm -hmm. Top as well. I believe Yorick's going to have a hard time against this uh, this matchup. Unless, uh, every, or not. Every not. lane is pushed, giving Vi many opportunities. Lots of options. Looks to appear. Like they're going to the just. It's like they're going to go to the end. And Vi on the top side of mid, but it doesn't look like she's going to gank. Vi standing on a ward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. not really sure why Vi is waiting in that bush. York flash. Comes they're in just now. coming back. Going in for a really nice gank. They burn flash. So that's really nice. Lilia sees them with the blast gun. Oh, Morgana lands a bind on bot lane. Able to get a bit of trading off. Malphite is now out of potions while Morgana still has all of hers. Every lane, though, on red side is down in CS, unfortunately for them. We see Malphite possibly getting shoved out of lane soon. Oh, we see a flash on the Oriana. Ooh. Oh, but Oriana still gets first blood and might make it out alive. Lily is coming in to save her, but I think she's dead. Oh. Ooh, Vi didn't fully charge, and now I think Oriana's made it out alive. Morgana is out of mana in the bot lane, and Vi is able to stop York's back, which is somewhat unfortunate for him. Lots of characters in this game get a spike at six, so we need to be watching out for who hits six first and what they do with that. Yes. Looks like Sinna's going to be caught out. Burns the flash. flash. And that's it. But he makes it out. But that's Turns. really sad that Sinna won't have flash for when Malphite hits six. That is, that is true. Hopefully... For them, Morgana will be fast with the black shield. Oriana, Oriana is six. Yeah. yeah. Annie is not. And, nope. And York hit six. Or not York, I uh, got my bad. Orgot is now six. Vi is four, but she's coming in for the Oriana gank. Yes. Annie hits six, and I think they're going to pick this kill up. Possibly. Oh. The movement speed from Oriana's W. <laughs> yeah. Vi got minion blocked a little bit there. Oh. 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 And Lilia Just... loses a flash trying to come in lane a little late. Red has dragon pressure here. Not sure if they're going to go for it. Uh... Oh, Ergot and Yorick. I believe Urgot... Going to burn the flash. Yeah. No. 
No, I think Yorick has ult, but didn't use it. Uh, he used he used ult, I think. I'm not sure. Senna down twenty CS. Uh, mid lane down a little bit CS in top yeah. lane. Uh, all of red is down CS because of it. They're down almost 2k gold now. So the gold deficit has already begun for them. When red team had uh, dragon pressure. Our gun's just gonna wonk this one down. Yep. And it looks like they're just going to give it up for free. Very fortunate for blue team. Morgana has two stopwatches. I. I did not notice that. Wally <laughs> yeah. now down 30 CS. While the other lanes are starting to catch back up. Just a little bit. I'll fight close to level 6. Seeming that misfortune hit level 6. There it is. Okay. Bot lane definitely slow. On the level ups with both mids being 7. Yes. Shockwave. Exhaust. Vi is going to be taking Rift. Curious as to which lane she drops that in. Hmm. Knowing that Black Shield's down, they're probably going to uh, look for an engage the next time this wave pushes back up. Vi is just laning in top. I'm not sure if she intends to drop Rift Herald here. Soaking or not. XP from her gun. Mm -hmm. Her oh, red yeah, there the answer. Up, so. oh, there's the combo. Oh, uh, yep. There's the b both bot lane ults. Just takes out red bot lane instantly without a chance to respond. They have both summoners except for Senna ult or Senna flash. Still, so red bot lane really didn't get a chance to respond to that at all. And now here for the top lane skirmish. Uh, Lilia is still not six yet, actually. Neither junglers are six yeah, yet. Vi is not six yet either. Ooh, I got ulti barely miss. Lilia coming You're back right. in, and I think she died for that. Yep. Red team picks up a kill there. Oriana's here for the. They just decided to drop Rift now. Okay, okay. Oriana's trying to come in from River. Going to proc that phase rush. Oh, Ergot going in, but his team not quite on the same page, Ooh. and he dies for it. Oh, Oriana picks up a double kill. Now looking for the triple. Spy running? Or, okay. <laughs> Morgana's Spell Thieves is not finished yet, but she has decided to go Red Trinket. I'm not sure if she had that since the beginning or not. But they I do. was not paying attention if she had that at the beginning. <laughs> she does have a double stopwatch, though. It's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting build. <laughs> uh, now with the two-level advantage, Ms. Fortune is just looking to take over the lane. With the 60 CS advantage as well. Oh, mid, they're trying to collapse on Oriana and Vi ults her. Oriana goes down. 
Very nice Vi shutdown for Reggie. Yes. I picked up that shutdown and... Especially considering Oriana just bought a Dark Seal recently. Yes. Looking to shut that down as soon as possible. Oh. Urgot burning his flash. Yeah, Urgot does a very late flash. I don't think that was necessary. I think he just walks away from that after the wall goes down. No one has uh, the vision the vision control over Drake at the moment. It's about to Drake spawn. Coming up soon. Yep. Both junglers are on bot side. Mm-hmm. Oh, there goes Malphite ult once again. Yep. Blue team will have full priority of Dragon now. Yep, we see them collapsing. Annie is still mid, while Vi looks to be hovering. Vi's changing her mind, <laughs> decides to clear her jungle. <laughs> And he needs to be careful about being oh. extended here. The kill top lane from Urgot. He ulted Yorick. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Lilia ability hits Annie and she goes down to an Oriana combo. Miss Fortune now with a two level advantage over both the. Uh, the red side support and ADC carry. Yep, all the kills going in the right places on blue side with five kills on Oriana and four kills on MF. York now with the Triforce. Morgana still has double stopwatch and hasn't gotten a new item in quite some time. Yep. We also don't see any uh, pink wards coming out from either of the bot laners. Senna is holding on to one, and there are a lot of blue wards in the river. But they're not being cleared, even though they have a sweeper. Everyone on the red side looks like they're sitting on two wards. And, mm -hmm. and as Annie gets solo killed again. <laughs> Annie stayed too long at her tower. Her tower was <clears throat> moments from... Oh, the black shield from Morgana? Okay. A very nicely done black shield. I think Morgana will still die for this, possibly. Mm -hmm. As long as... Yeah. Yep. Okay. I don't think they can tank that, though, so Senna should be safe. Blue team was able to pick up another kill. Looking for the kill on though. Lilia. Okay. Drowsy coming out. I'm not sure Urgant can 1v3 this one. Especially Maybe next with Oriana time. coming into that fight. Yes, the 6 and, and Annie one. not having any lane priority, unfortunately. No. For red. Blue team is now almost 10k gold up. And Oriana's Ceres is almost stacked. Or Archangel's, I should say. And he gets ulted by Oriana once again. Fighting over the Raptor camp, it looks like. Vi put enough pressure that Oriana had to recall her ball, though, and Annie did not die to the W. But Vi does go back in and die. The late um, Man Immune coming out from Senna, as it's only stacked up 76 bonus mana. 
Uh, see a huge CS difference in the bot lane. MF sitting at 150. Yes. And Senna is sitting at 60. Almost 100. We all see that. Go ahead. Spell Thieves is still not <laughs> leveled up. <laughs> but she does so, have the Seekers. She does have the Seekers. Suffering from wards. They do have the Scuttle, but it's about to run out on top side. Oriana getting kicked out Oriana. here. Looks like it's going to be a shutdown. Could be a kill. And they back off. Barely makes it out. <laughs> Oriana appears to be building a death cap, second item. Yes. I think we saw the same itemization last game as well, mm -hmm. or game one. And Malphite has built a Morellanomicon. Yes. Going fairly AP. I got with the first item death dance playing into this Yorick. Okay. I believe Vi is just gonna get chased down here. I think Vi makes it out now. Mm -hmm. Annie, I believe, got caught at the beginning. Possibly by the Oriana ult. I wasn't able to see that when it first happened. Annie's sitting with no items yet. Oh, yeah. Has not finished the Ludens or the Leandries. Yeah, very interesting that she decided to start building a different item before finishing the first. Morgana doing something similar. Mm -hmm. Having an arm guard, a codex, and the stopwatch. She did sell her second stopwatch. I... <laughs> She's got to be extra safe sometimes. We didn't talk about, but Urgot did get a kill earlier against York, mm -hmm. which is... Very good for a red team. Looks like they're gonna just look for the. Uh, are losing. Looks like they're gonna dive York here, or not York, Ergot. Oriana definitely is able to kill him here. York finishes off. I got sending his ult the wrong way. Maybe if he <laughs> would have hit it on York, it would have been a different story. A lot happening in bot lane. Everyone's. Uh... <laughs> Grouped down there. While Oriana and York just eat away at their base. Yep. The red team is laning in bot lane. While Still no recalls coming in. Take their top. Ah, I see what they're Malphite doing. Malphite ult right on Senna. Takes out their main damage there. Vi trying to... Fend off their Nexus Towers. Oriana and Yorick here have the pressure to take the Nexus Towers, but they decide not to, and they go for the mid-tower. Oriana taking little to none... No damage from the Senna. We're kind of getting way too close. It gets yes. walled in by Yorick. Sleepy coming out from Lilia. Okay. And now it's just. The game's going to end here. Senna and Annie. Oh, oh Annie does a Three flash. Minutes, uh. uh However, she didn't have Tibbers, unfortunately, for them. Otherwise, I think that would have been two kills. That's going to be an ace. And it looks like it's going to be the end of the game. Yep. 
Blue team wins. For a clean 2-0 victory. We're gonna go in to try her hardest to stop the the Nexus explosion. Oh. Oof. My client is not letting me see it, but... I think... Red team seemed a little bit more tilted that game. It was much... Uh, blue team won the game much faster, much more easily in every lane in the second game than they did the first game. Connor's still not back yet. <laughs> Connor. <laughs> Missed the entire second game. I don't know what else I would have rather seen drafted there against that. I don't it's think... Hard. It's hard to say, considering it's blind pig. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, so they can't really prepare for it, especially when the bot lane completely changes it up and has something like MF Malphite. Yeah, I feel like for uh, for Red to succeed there, we just need to we need to focus on more itemization. Uh, finish finish one item before you start the next. <laughs> um, Definitely, CS was a problem in both games, since so I was warding. Mm -hmm. I think also. Uh, Morgana Blank Shields could have been timed better into the mouse fight misfortune. Mm -hmm. Definitely the cues as well. As soon as Morgana cues, it's a 10 second cooldown, gives the enemy team an opportunity to come in. It was mostly about, um, for Red Team, it was mostly about trying to shut down that Oriana before she got ahead. But yeah. unfortunately, they were not able to do that in the second game either. Both junglers seem to really be struggling that game. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about jungle. I do not either. But they were quite behind in levels from their lanes, and they weren't ganking all that much to put them behind. The Galio pick was better from Red Team on the first game than the Annie pick in the second game. Definitely delayed that Oriana from getting a lot of the items that she did. Yeah, Galio puts a lot of early game pressure on the Oriana. Especially with that magic shield. P. Just provides a body that can CC and jump on the Oriana with the taunt
think maybe that might have been helping red team out a lot the first game without them knowing it. They swapped off a lot of their crowd control characters in the second game. They lost Shen Taunt, Galio Taunt. I can't remember what... Did they play Vi in the first... Who did they play in the first game? They played Set. Set. Oh, it's Set. Yes. I think Top definitely should have probably been getting a lot more ganks after Bot began to lose lane. There was not much they could do there. And Top, even towards the end, was still winning the 1v1. I think that might have been one of their only outs. Well, if there's nothing else we need to say, I don't know where Austin is. I'm not really sure where any of them are. <laughs> I don't know where Austin or Connor went. It looks like they're just having a team chat. I will ping Connor. A lot of them moving to AFK. Oh. <laughs> yep. Almost all of them. Almost all. Maybe they're uh, they're talking about how they could have played better. Let's hope. Mhm. Mm Definitely could see a lot of easy to do improvements. Oh, no, we have not closed out. We have not. I don't know where Connor went. Just kind of disappeared that last game and never came back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all you, right? Okay. Well, we, uh, we saw some interesting plays from both teams. Blue team was able to come out with a fairly uncontested 2-0, so I'm very happy for them. Both teams could have a lot to improve on. Blue team definitely almost gave up their lead several times. So, both good and bad things from both teams, but overall, good games to watch. It was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And I wish them both luck in the coming season. Because this is just preseason.
every Tuesday there's going to be a match starting October 20th. Okay, something to look forward to.